Belgian shepherds Kevin and Daz put their lives in harm's way for the safety of their soldiers. Through the training they have acquired, the two dogs can easily detect IEDs, thus ensuring others are safe after years of work with the military. It's now their time to retire, but for military dogs, retirement comes with serious repercussions. The two dogs were to be put down following orders from their commanding officer. Their handlers couldn't take this lightly. Who has the assay on whether a dog is to be put down? Is it the commanding officer? Can anyone question the commanding officer? This is not the correct way to treat animals that have sacrificed so much. The people who were taking care of the dogs were determined to stop this from happening. We will do whatever it takes stop it. If the worst happens, we may even decide to seek an audience with Defense Secretary Gavin Williamson. An army spokesperson said, we try as much as possible to ensure military dogs find new homes. Unfortunately, this is not always possible. Those who had fallen in love with the two dogs couldn't take this for an answer. Efforts to save the two dogs continued. Foreign Office Minister Sir Alan Duncan was also involved in the search for a solution. According to Duncan, the dogs did not abandon our soldiers when they were on the battlefield. It's our time to give back and fight for their welfare. We should allow them to live happily because this is all they need from us. They have finally received a response from the army although Duncan knows that these trained dogs need high-level care he thought that the dogs should be given a chance. Before rehoming military dogs, it is essential to ensure they undergo thorough scrutiny to ensure they are not a safety threat to civilians. If they pose no danger to civilians, they should not be put down. The dogs were finally given a chance to live after Defense Secretary Gavin Williamson intervened. He said instructions were provided to the relevant department to spare the two dogs. The issue is being discussed with charities to ensure the dogs are given new homes where they can live with a handler. Through their efforts, Driver, the dog, who had previously worked with the police, was also given a chance to live. He was also set to be put down. We hope that this does not end here and it's also our hope that there will be no more premature deaths for military dogs. Blog page, BarkPooch.com Facebook fan page, Twitter and Instagram, I love my dogs. We hope you liked the video. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates.